Welcome to Late Night with Komotso. On tonight's show, Abigail Kelly, Bo Brummel, Mishak Mavuso, Robbie Thorpe, and music performance by Liquid Deep. Now, here's Komotso. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight. We have Miss Abigail Kelly, all the way from the UK. <laughs> She was born in Birmingham, England, to Jamaican parents. She's now a celebrated opera singer and stage performer. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Abigail Kelly. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> that was quite an entrance. They're welcome to the show. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank Indeed. you for having me. How did you get involved in opera growing up in Birmingham? Yeah, well, um, I had a very musical upbringing. My parents are Jamaican, and um, when they were growing up, they didn't really get to do um, very many kind of extracurricular right, activities right. and things like playing music. Um, so they encouraged me to play the piano, play the violin. Um, I sang in my um, local church choir just across the road. And um, this all continued until the point where I had to decide what I was going to do with my life. Right. And I was all set to do genetic research at university. <laughs> No. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. Sure. So, um, yeah, I got called into the headmistress's office. And my parents got called in. And um, she said that it would be perhaps worthwhile me pursuing going to music college. So somewhere along the lines of doing my four-year um, music degree in um, classical vocal training, I um, decided that opera was the way forward for so me. So genetics, huh? Yeah. And you, did you have an interest in it before? Is that something that you oh, thought I did. I'm going to clap? Yeah, okay. no, I was um, very interested in um, mainly looking at um, people who want to have children right. and um, with different genetic um, illnesses and things and, and things. counseling and that sort of thing. But yeah, I decided that I'd quite like to try singing first. Sure. Before. Were you a very naughty child? No. <laughs> I wasn't a naughty child. However, my mom always tells me that when um, we used to play around the house and she'd chase me around the house, I'd start screaming these kind of like, Wah! kind of really high notes and things. So she says that she always knew that I was going to be a soprano when I was there. <laughs> Do people get surprised? Because you have this huge voice and you're standing there in the middle of this opera and you're just kind of like, wow, is that her? Yeah, sometimes that happens, um, especially when you do concerts and you're kind of up on a stage and, right. and you're wearing the dress and you're, you know, you've got the makeup on and you're singing. Um, I tend to, whenever I finish a concert, I kind of I run off stage, I put on some leggings and a t-shirt and a beanie right. hat. Right. I, <laughs> I go out front to meet my parents and people have no idea that it was me that right. was on stage. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Oh, but that can be fun, though, because oh, yeah. you can really play. Oh, yeah, definitely. And what do you do for fun? Oh, let's see. I um, I love baking. Really? I love cooking. Yeah. Oh, we'd never I'm get very along. Very domesticated. Or maybe we should live together. Because yeah. I don't... <laughs> you can. I'll do the cooking, and you can eat. Oh, interesting. So you're a kitchen body. If so yeah. That. What's your special dish? If oh, you were gosh. to whip up like Ah Abigail special. I like food that takes a long time to prepare. So I like cooking things like um, moussaka. Right. So that's really, that takes a long time and you have to do different things and chop different, and it's just kind of merging of lots of different techniques. Right. Um, but then I also, I, I've been trying to get into um, cooking Jamaican food more. Right. Um, at the moment, you know, I have my mom and my dad who cook beautifully, so I don't really have to do right. too much <laughs> Jamaican cuisine. Sure. Um, so, but, you know, I need to try and do it myself. You well. live in London? I live in Birmingham. Oh, do you still live in Birmingham? Yes. Wow, what, what's it about this city? I mean, you grew up there, you still live there? Um, I just find Birmingham a very culturally diverse place, but it doesn't have the same kind of um, scale that London has, obviously, so sure. I don't feel like you can get too lost in the city. Right. In, in terms of you kind of lose yourself sometimes when right. you move to a massive city. And, 
Yeah, I, I still have a sense of um, belonging to Birmingham and kind of that's where I did my undergraduate degree. Sure. And um, yeah, I just, I just really feel comfortable there. What are your operatic influences? You know, I suppose music in general is something that you are passionate about and that you listen to yeah. a wide variety of music. Mm -hmm. But are there specific operatic influences or is it just sort of like, you know, um, all um, of it becomes a pot that melts together? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I admire anyone who can get up and let themselves go and, and sing, especially, you know, people who are classically trained because I, I appreciate and understand and know firsthand how much training that takes. Right, so, right. When you have people like um, Willard White and um, Leontine Price, right. Jesse Norman, Kathleen Battle, it's just really refreshing to, to see lots of, especially for me as a, a young black soprano, to see lots of um, other you know, African Caribbean faces in sure. the operatic world. You're performing um, with the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra yes. in Pretoria. In fact, you're a guest of the Jamaican Embassy. I am, um, yes. To this country because yes. of your um, heritage and mm -hmm. lineage. What will you be performing? Um, well, I will be performing on um, Saturday. It's with the Joburg Philharmonic Orchestra, yes, and I will be performing some operatic arias. Um, some Italian, some Donizetti. Um, I'll be singing actually something from Paul Gimbes by mm -hmm. Gershwin as ah. well. Could you please <laughs> sing something from Paul Gimbes? Oh gosh. Just a little something, a little ditty. Um, Just a little smally one. Okay, let me see. I can do a few lines of something for you. Okay, okay cool. let me see. Mm. South Africa's very own special Spaghetti Western star. Yes, he was. I know you know him for other things, but we'll be back with Bo Brummel. <laughs>